Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. First of all, I would like to say sorry that I did not upload video in the last two weeks. Some of you uh, text me, ask me why I did not upload. It has been the end of the semester, quite busy, and uh, has been not well for some day. So today we will look at the uh, a popular question in YouTube. Many mathematician in YouTube already provide the answer of algebra method which is uh, in the case that given a plus b plus c equals to 63 okay equals to 63 what is the maximum value of a multiply b plus b multiply c plus c multiply d a b and c are positive integer for example 1 2 3, 4 and so on okay. There are many answers uh, provided by mathematician in terms of algebra but today we will solve it using genetic algorithm okay, uh, optimization method If you haven't watched my previous video on genetic algorithm solving complex number problem you may watch this video I explain what is genetic algorithm in a simple guessing number game in the description below you will see the link of this video from the condition given a b c d must be equal to 63 let's move the 63 from the left hand right hand side to the left hand side so we obtain a plus b plus c plus d minus 63 equals to zero okay let's define e1 the error function 1 equals to a plus b plus c plus d minus 63 power 2 okay this is to ensure that the, the minimum error is 0 okay when sum of 4 value equals to 40 63 the minimum error equals to 0 on the other hand in order to find the maximum value of a b plus b c plus c d we define the error 2 equals to 1 over a b plus b c plus c d this is to ensure that the error 2 is minimum when the a b plus b c plus c d is maximum okay so now we have e1 and e2 we combine e1 and e2 to define a fitness function of genetic algorithm in this case this is the fitness function where the original e1 plus 1 multiply e2 okay this fitness function will ensure both e1 and e2 are fulfilled however we need to make sure e1 plus 1 because the minimum value of e1 is 0 if we did not plus 1 anything sum out 63 will become 0 and multiply e2 will become 0 as well that means to avoid the cons the issue that e1 can be 0 we plus 1 before multiply e2 okay alternatively we can have another error function that uh, sum by e1 and e2 i have tested both it will fine for both Let's see the setting of genetic algorithm. Here we use a MATLAB toolbox. We assume or we set the population equals to 500. We have 500 uh, chromosome in the population. We set the generation to be 500, which means it will run 500 cycle. Each chromosome has four genes, which is corresponding to uh, A, B, C, and D, four variables. For simplicity, we initial the, the gene value from negative 5 to positive 5. Okay. Originally, the gene value can be negative, can be in a decimal value. So therefore, when we extract the chromosome 1 assigned to be A, we need to, number 1, round to ensure it is uh, without decimal value. Number 2, we apply ABS function to make sure it is positive value. And number three, we need to plus one to ensure it is minimum one. Okay, 
we do the same for the second gene to get B, the third gene to get C, the last gene to get D. So let's see the code of MATLAB once we have the A, B, C, D well defined. There are two MATLAB files in this example. First is the gaabcd.m. Okay, this is a file we're going to run. Meanwhile, there is a fitness function file called abcdfcn. Okay, it is a function uh, we write for MATLAB to evaluate our fitness. Okay, as discussed, we will extract the abcd4 gene from the chromosome by applying the round the absolute value and 1 to ensure that A, B, C, D are positive value, positive integer minimum is 1 and then this is a E1 function, the error 1 function and error 2 function finally combine the E1 and E2 to become a fitness okay. minimization function alternatively uh, this is another uh, potential useful fitness function So, but when we run, make sure we run in the main file this is the main file GA ABCD.M. Let's run. So here is the result A equals to 1, B equals to 31, C equals to 30, D equals to 1. Okay, therefore A, B, C, D sum up together is 63, and the maximum value for A, B plus B, C plus C, D is 991, which is same as the answer derived by algebra method okay. the programming code is available download see the link at the description box below thank you for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel give me a like and share with others thank you very much bye bye